Hey everybody, it's Michael Padone with salesbuzz.com and here's your outbound prospecting sales tip uh, of the day. And it's, it's really about having two specific tools to use to get more deals done. And the first one is this, every sales rep should have the ability, a tool that notifies them when one of the prospects you're, you're working with opens an email. So let me give you a perfect example. I happen to use Yesware. Uh, I'm not promoting them. I'm just showing you that this is the company. I've used them for years. There's other tools that are out there that, that'll do the same thing. But what it was is I had I, I started work this morning and I noticed in my activity feed, I had uh, somebody at, where was it? It was like 5, yeah, here we go, 5 uh, a.m. or so. Somebody opened up one of my emails. This is somebody I've been dealing with before in the past. They haven't pulled the trigger yet. I can tell that they're still interested. With that being said, I also noticed that none of my previous emails, uh, recent emails have been responded to. So that tells me that since they're still opening it, they're visiting the site, they are still interested, but there's a, there's an issue there and they're not responding to the calls or the emails. So I send them a text. Maybe it's a little bit easier for them to respond that way, a little less threatening, right? So I send them a text question, got them to engage, found out a problem or an objection that they had. I isolated the objection and made sure that was the only objection that was left standing in our way. And if it was solved, would they be ready to move forward? And they confirmed that it was perfect. So then what I went ahead and did is I handled that objection and we closed the deal all over text. This all started because it wasn't even on my radar to contact today, but it was as soon as I, notif I was notified and I saw that they opened up an email again, it, it rose to the top of my list. Let me hurry up and handle this because it's top of mind for them. So all sales reps should be able to have this tool. If your company's not going to pay for you to have a tool like this, then pay for it out of your own pocket. It's going to be worth it. The one deal today just paid for the entire year of the uh, of the, of the service that notified me of it. And I've gone ahead and, and made a lot of deals happen because of that. So again, have the notification to where if they open up an email. But then you, here's the thing too, though. Just having that tool is not going to help you close deals. If I did not know how to handle the objection, if I didn't ha have the foresight to go, okay, they're not responding to the emails, they're not responding to the calls, all of a sudden it's dropped off, there's some resistance there, but I also have the tools set up to notify me that yeah, there's still interest, there's still interest there, there's got to be a problem, what's another way that I can get them engaged, right, to, 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 to open up, and so the text was easiest, less threatening, uh, it's not it's not a personal phone call or anything of that nature where they're on the spot so they can control it a little bit in their mind. So I use the text, but I'm using sales techniques to close the to handle the objection The the tools that are out there are just to help you aid. You still need the sales techniques and skills. With that being said, I hope this helps and, and gives you some insight into some tools that you should add to your arsenal. If you have any other questions, please hit me up on my LinkedIn page or reach out to us at salesbuzz.com. Take care.